Parents are fighting for answers after at least seven children were recently diagnosed with cancer in one California community. We showed you their push to remove a cell phone tower earlier this year. Now they are focusing on a chemical in the drinking water that's linked to cancer. Carter Evans visited Ripon, California, which is just one of dozens of cities across the country dealing with the possibly harmful chemical. Until we figure out what is happening in this town, we won't stop. Come on. Kelly Prime's son, Kyle, is one of at least seven kids in Ripon, California, who've been diagnosed with cancer over the last four years. She and another mom first removed a cell phone tower from a local elementary school campus. Now they're taking a closer look at a dangerous chemical found in the town's water supply. My gut tells me that something is here that's causing these issues. This site in Ripon was once home to a Nestle plant that used trichloroethylene or TCE to decaffeinate coffee until the 1970s. Nestle discharged the plant's wastewater into the city's sewers. The company says for more than 30 years they have implemented cleanup and water protection measures to ensure levels do not exceed California standards. TCE was recently found in one of five city drinking water wells. This is the well where they found the TCE? Yes. The city of Ripon says TCE levels reached 90% of the EPA maximum allowed in drinking water last summer. The well was turned off four months later. The city says the water meets all established drinking water standards. University of California San Francisco scientist Vina Singla says when it comes to chemicals like TCE, there are no safe levels of exposure. Drinking water standards and guidelines that we have now are many decades old, and they don't account for the latest science that shows that pregnant women and children are more susceptible to TCE. Millions of pounds of TCE are used every year for manufacturing and degreasing. The chemical can migrate from industrial sites into surrounding communities through the soil and water. It can even turn into a clear odorless vapor that moves up into the homes above. We know it can cause cancer by uh, any route of exposure. So what that means is um, whether you breathe it in, whether you drink it in contaminated water, we're concerned about all of those exposures. You think that this is something that could have caused your son's cancer? I think that it needs to be looked into for sure. Last year, we visited Franklin, Indiana, where dozens of kids were diagnosed with cancer. A nonprofit found high levels of toxins, including TCE vapor, in homes near an old manufacturing site. Cleanup and testing under the EPA is ongoing. Carrie Reinhart lost her daughter to brain cancer. We used our kids as a canary in the coal mine in our town. And in White Bear Township, Minnesota, community members diagnosed with cancer and their loved ones were outraged after learning a company that makes fishing sinkers and battery terminal posts admitted TCE had been leaking into the air for years, at points reaching seven times what was allowed. In Ripon, families are calling for additional vapor testing. We have a lot more questions than we do answers. So until we get those answers to those questions, we are very concerned. Regulators say potential health effects from TCE depend on the amount and length of exposure, and it can be difficult to trace the cause of any one cancer diagnosis. But Prime says after seeing her son's battle firsthand, she'll do anything to prevent other parents from experiencing the same pain. It was hell. I mean, it was, it's life altering. He's sick every day, losing weight, losing his hair. Your son's in remission now. What keeps you going? the fight that these kids have in them, like we have to show them that we will fight for them. For CBS This Morning, <laughs> Carter Evans, Ripon, California. Wow. The Regional Water Board has asked Nestle to do additional vapor testing to ensure TCE levels are within new stricter guidelines set by the state. Nestle says the work plan has been submitted and approved by the water board. Can't imagine, I mean, losing a child so young and then yeah. that fight in you to find out what's wrong. Yeah. yeah. What's going on in the community? Yeah, as a parent, you watch your kid gain weight, and then when they start losing weight, it's uh, terrifying. It's just terrifying.